What do you say? Please and thank you. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> it's our Wednesday sale. It is. And welcome whoever is or isn't here. Mm -hmm. There's two waiting. Well, that's the iPad is one. Oh, it's behind. Why would they be waiting? Though? <laughs> the iPad because we have a second thing, thinks that it's another person. So really there's one person in here. Does that make sense? <laughs> what do I know? I'm old. Yeah. So we have a just a variety of items today pulled from all the different shelves. Um, it's our sweet ass stuff sale. Your sweet ass stuff. Yep. So we are um, just going to jump in. We'll give it a couple more minutes. And while we wait, um, you want to tell them about the stickers? Well, there's only one person to tell. <laughs> yeah. Well, if they're watching back as well. All right. So we have the large Sugar Bridges stickers, the sweet ass stuff. These are three inches in diameter. They're $3. dollars we'll be glad to add them to your order. If you want to proudly display that you bought some sweet ass stuff from us, this is the way to do it. Or I thought that's, those were four inch. Are they three inch? Yeah, so this is two inch. Oh. Isn't it? Is that four inch? This is a four inch sticker. Okay. I, I, <laughs> I digress. It's a four inch. What yeah. is this one then? This one is the three inch. Okay. Shows what I know. And if that's a little too ostentatious for you, we have the three inch sticker, which says that you are, what's it say? On your way to get some good shit from Sugar Bridge's sweet ass stuff. So mm -hmm. maybe that's more appropriate for whatever you're doing. <laughs> I don't know. I these just... are these are two dollars. Hi Yvonne. We went to um lunch yesterday for Valentine's Day. Yep. Nice to see you too, Yvonne. So we just went we went to BJ's and had a good lunch and then um went by his mom's house and then I had to go to work. So but, yeah. yeah, I did order new stickers yesterday, a new design. Um, you got a sneak peek of it if you saw my advertisement on Instagram, the two little lions. So I have ordered that in sticker form. Um, they are big five inch stickers. So pretty good size. They're square. And those will be $5. Um, if anybody's interested, I should be getting those, I think, next week. So um, I do have a limited quantity of those as well. So if you want some fun stickers, I got them coming. <laughs> yeah. And if you just want to have fun, just come to our sales booth. Yes. Lori Ann's just a crack up. I'm, I'm also here for comedic relief. You're right. <laughs> well, we can jump right in and just start showing some items. I do want to say that if you've never bought from us before, be sure to send us your information. Uh, my email is on the screen, sweetadeline at AOL.com. Sweet has three E's in it. So be sure to add that third E in there. And um, we'll need your name, your YouTube name, your real name, address, and PayPal email. Um, I think that everybody got us their information on our last sales. We've had one person that did not. So That was the previous sale. Right. So, so we haven't been able to find them, but no. hopefully if you're watching this, can you send me your information and I can get your item out to you? Yeah. That was from the ephemera sale, I believe. It was one book. Yep. Just one book. And if you're here, we don't have your information. <laughs> um, probably this Sunday we'll unwrap the book and put it back out uh, in the next book or ephemera sale. Mm -hmm. this, it'll be two weeks this Sunday, so... All right, well, let's just jump right in. The first item is a lot. I thought these were really cute. You're going to get all of these for one price, starting at $6. How many is all of let's these? Let's count them. I have 11. Plus five. 16 of, those are really cool. They're like kids, kids clothes mm -hmm. hangers. I don't know if you can see. Yep. It's got like a carousel pattern at the top. Yep. They're all the same color. Little clowns on the end. If you can make that out. It'd be fun if you had small children or grandchildren and you wanted to uh, spruce up their closet or 
This is also good fun. for um, displaying aprons or smaller linens. Um, yeah, you could also you know hang something from the hooks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stuff. it would be cute if you um, even have like those little kitchen doilies that look like little clothes. You could hang them um, from this. So there's a lot of things you can do with these. Six dollar start. You're gonna get all. What did we say? Fifteen hangers. You have eleven. Sixteen. Sixteen hangers for six dollar start. I didn't even know you had those. Yeah, they've been hanging on my um, shelf there for quite a the while. The hangers have been hanging around? Yep, they've been hanging around for a while. All right. Um, Let us know if you want them. Here's the tag for those. This is a fun item. This is not old, but I did recently get it, and so I'm going to offer it up. It's a window decal comes with the directions here. <laughs> this is called, um, this is a window decal and it says fluff around and find out. So this would go on your car window, your window into your house, anywhere. Hi, Carrie Ann. Perfect for the cat lover. Hello, yep, Carrie Ann. Good, for the cat good lover. afternoon, actually. This or good morning. Depends on where you're at. Sticker is seven and a half inches tall and uh, eight and a half long the backing for it anyway four dollars start for the fluff around and find out window decal i'm guessing this is for a car so if you're a cat lover <laughs> this is really cute in the spirit of a fun wednesday sale i have my wine jug here <laughs> Any cat lovers in here? I'm more of a dog lover myself, but this is cute. I believe it's a cat. That is a yeah, cat. That's so a we'll around and find out. Yeah. Looks like a cat on a mission right there. This would be the um, cute on our back window of our car, though. We don't have cats. I know, but you're not getting they any don't cats. know that. You're not I'm getting allergic. any cats. I'm allergic to cats, so. Uh-oh. I'll let you grab that off the floor. I'm not supposed to get that off the floor. Grab okay. it with your foot. Okay. There you go. <laughs> oh, thanks, Yvonne. It helps me get through the day. He got a haircut this morning. Yeah, all of them cut. Yep, he did. All righty. What am I a tag for this? There it is. We have a nice little bundle here. This is a fun little bundle. Oh, you are? Yeah. They kind of freak me out a little bit, too, because they can, like, climb up you, which is weird because I used to work at the zoo in the carnivore house with the big cats, but I'm not a cat person, and I'm allergic, and I would get really congested working even with those cats. But this You're going to get the whole bag starting out at $6, and let's show them what's in this bag, shall we? I don't know what they are. Well, this is a big old button here. You want to hold that? What is it for? It's a, it's a button. It's a cover your own, easy to follow button. I'm trying to see if there's a date. Solid brass, rust proof. Cover your own button. So let me show you what's in this bag. You're going to get this one here, and this was originally 39 cents. So it is vintage. Made in USA. I don't see a date on here. Would you guess oh, maybe 50s? Okay. So the idea was that you guide by uh, fabric, stretch it over the button, and then s snap it or sew it onto something so you would have a big fabric covered button. You get one, ah. two. Here are some completed buttons. Well, let's show those in a minute. Three. Four, five. Four. Five. And then you get three of them. That look like they've already been. That have yeah. already been covered. So yeah. huge buttons. These here are. I suppose you could use this for furniture or. Just what. over two and a half inches. Yeah. It's really cool, but especially the ones that are. Oh, these ones are smaller, though. Yeah, there's a 
a set of smaller ones too. Two smaller ones and four of the large ones and three of the large ones that are covered. Yep, you get three of these. And this is a six dollar start and for the button bag. Pretty cool if they're still in the original packaging or whatever you want to call it. Not really packaging, but yeah, it is packaging. How it hung on the store, on the shelf at the store, or the hook at the store. Fifty cents for this one. Ooh, those are two of them there. Dayville Prims. And not that we anticipate it happening, it, but we have forty to fifty mile an hour winds outside right now that are just terrorizing this area. So. Yeah, windstorm. Should we disappear and not come back, you'll know that the power went out. <laughs> Don't jinx us. I'm not. I'm just letting them know. All right, you get to pick the next item. Ooh, it is windy out there. Yeah, we're in a like a basically an almost soundproof basement here. And when you can hear it down here, Oops. there's there's a lot going on. Let's do this. Okay. We've had this forever, and we've never. Hung it up. I'll see if we can get it. It is a what kind of dog are those? Uh, it's a terrier, like an Airedale. It's a um, windshine. And they're all glass or pottery. Pottery. Just lift it up a little more so they can see the dogs. It is it's really, I've never seen anything like it. Maybe I don't look, but there's five dogs hanging there. You have this beautiful bell that they're hanging from and uh, the, the rope to hang it with. Show them the inside of the bell. It's all pottery. Yep, it's Looks all like pottery. it's handmade. Um, all of the dogs look really good. One of them has a little, little chippy chip in the paint right here. Nothing too bad. It's like pretty, it's almost just like paint loss there. And Snoopy approves, so just so you know, Snoopy likes this idea. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let them so go. So what are we, what's the start now? The start is $12 on this dog wind chime. Yeah, speaking of wind. <laughs> we are offering up a wind chime when we're talking about the windstorm. It would look really good. Like, I, I don't know that I would put it outside where it would get a lot of abuse, but you could have it in a house or somewhere where a little breeze hits it once in a while. It is made to go outside, though. Yeah. I can't imagine them banging into each other real hard without having issues at some point, but hey, what do I know? That's what they're made for. There so, you go. this one is at twelve dollars. Just $12. let us know if you wanna, if you're interested in it, and we'll drag it back over here. Okie dokie. I have a cute little. Hey, see if you can find a measuring tape. I forgot. That's the one thing I forgot to grab to measure the linens. We don't have a measuring tape. I think there's one down here somewhere. Well, oh, there's not? That's like saying Jimmy Hoffa's buried somewhere. I have this really cute little um, tablecloth. I would love to hang this on a hook or something. Stand up with it. Can you see it? Yeah. Got the little kitty cat with the dog. I want to hang this on this paper here. It is, um, oh, I have a measuring stick. Let me just measure the, it's about 20 and a half, 28 and a half inches wide. And then the length of it. Stretch it out. 36, probably 40 inches long. Yeah, right around there. It's adorable. 
This is a $5 start and it is hand done. Let's see if I can get it on the screen there. Is that like the butterflies. Or what? No, it's a kitty cat um, with a, a puppy pulling the kitty cat and it has flowers at the bottom. Are they able to see it? Am I holding it where they can see it on the screen? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Drop it down a little bit. Okay. Um, let oh, me see. Get some interest in that. I'm looking it over to see if there's any stains or anything on it. And I don't see any stains. It looks to be in really good condition. Sassy. All right, Christy. It says it's embroidery. Carry in five. Tippy Winks Vintage six. Carry in seven. That's where we're at right now. Yes, I am a little sassy. It happens when you get older. Hi, Tippy Winks. I don't know who Tippy Winks is, but Chrissy. I still call you Tippy. Chrissy? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still having an issue with, you know. I'm horrible with names, too. So, if I, I am uh, just. Tippy Winks is at eight. So, I think what we're going to do here, I don't even know how to do that. Do what? Oh, here it is. I should have bought more of these. This lady had a whole collection of them, and I just got one of them, but I thought it was so Christy, cool. not Chrissy. That's what I said. You said Chrissy. No, I didn't. I think you did. I'm going to get whacked here in a minute. And I have a big old stick over there now. That yeah, yeah. Like, rather than just a ruler. All right. Tippy Winks is at 8, and we're going to start a countdown. We're going to start from 15... Um, just so anybody that has a leg can can jump in and hopefully uh, get their their bid counted. Oh, nice to meet you too, Christy. Um, <laughs> all right, so here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, stop. Let's see. I'm good at counting backwards. I have some redeeming qualities. Mm -hmm. All right. It looks like uh, Christy at eight. All right, Christy. Thank you so much. There's my pan. You want to pick out the next item? Um, we should run by this guy again. Okay. <laughs> this thing will make somebody really happy, a kid or maybe a grandparent or something that needs something to play with. Lorianne brought this home a while back. What's his name? Squeaky. Squeaky. It looks like a balloon dog, um, but it's all plastic. We put batteries in it. I don't know how to turn them on. Uh, there, there's a couple of accessories that go with this that we don't have. Um, there's one, a little pin that goes in here that shuts them up, and the same pin goes in here and makes them, makes them make noise. I thought you said one inflates and one deflates. Oh yeah, well it, it's supposed to inflate and deflate, so it makes a noise like it's exhaling or inhaling, depending on which part you hit, and then the thing sits down. Um, Let's see. Hi, Jeannie. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is a $15 start, and this is Squeaky the Robotic Dog. And I will leave the darn batteries in it, but we'll turn it off for shipping. Can't leave the batteries in there. That's another. Those are brand new batteries. <laughs> 
we'll be removing the batteries because that's right. like ten dollars oh, worth yeah. of batteries. Actually, you're not allowed to ship anything with batteries in it. So, hi, Jeannie. Any interest in squeaky here? I think it would be a lot of fun for Can like you an see like an older well, well like an older adult uh, that's looking for something to play with or. Hold on. Nice job. He's squeaking. Let's see if he'll stand on this. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, he's, moved. he's on the move. Lower it. Lower it a little. There you go. He does, I think, 60 different. Um... Yeah. Aww. I think he's begging. Yeah, he is. Squeaky. He's drinking. Slurping up the water. Yep. He's oh, peeing. He just... And it makes a yellow mark on the floor. Did you see yeah. that? Oh, my God. I didn't see. I haven't seen him do that one before. He just peed. Okay, Squeaky, stay where. Don't go off the the side there. All right. Well, anyhow, that's that's <laughs> out. Out. Yeah, stop it. Stop it. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's he's flying. <laughs> All right, we're turning Squeaky off for now. You get the general idea. Yeah. Uh, definitely a fun toy, um, especially if you have somebody that you want to give an annoying toy to their kid. <laughs> it's Squeaky the balloon dog, the balloon dog robot. Starting at 15? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she has a little Pomeranian tippy. Ah. Uh, well, this one you don't have to feed or clean up after. Well, it pees on the floor, apparently. I have not seen it do that before, so that's funny. You must have to walk, give oh, it yeah, water. Oh, yeah, he's got a little light right there. Huh. Oh, he's got a little brown light in the back. Stop it. <laughs> All right. Well, it's here. You guys want it. Thank you, Christy. Yeah. Look. Thank you, Christy. It makes my life a whole lot easier when I'm invoicing and getting shipping information. That's right. Putting Squeaky over here. Okay, Squeaky's going on the table. Sorry, Squeaky. Nobody loves you. The next thing we have up is a 1940s camera. It is a Bakelite um, camera. It's called a Baby Brownie Special. There you go. Yeah, anybody knows anything about old, back, old uh, cameras knows that brownie baby brownie they had a number of different cameras but this most definitely is uh it's got a bake light case and i'm not sure if that's 35 millimeter oh let's see let's open oh there it is isn't that how it opens i don't know it's a really cool display camera i don't know if it works yeah there's clips you have to figure out how to open it and this adorable 1940s Bakelite camera is starting out at $10. You put the film in it and That's press okay. the little button. and It's open right here. Oh, okay. You opened it in the front. Okay. Well, open it and see what it looks like. Well, I'm trying. So, I don't know what film it takes or how you load it, but... It appears to us camera novices to be complete. Um, but then again, maybe those of you out there that know what you're looking at could say, oh, yeah, that's good, or it's missing something or whatever. Uh, it would be a pretty display piece if you mm -hmm. had uh, stuff from the 40s or if you know it's somebody that collects old cameras. Yeah. The lines on it are really cool. It has that's that real deco look to it, right? Yep, yep sure does. And it does say um, uh, baby brownie special along this dial or um, lens in the front. 
has the little button. $10 start on the 1940s camera. All right. Well, well, if you're watching back and you see something that didn't sell, yeah. feel free to message us. We just decided to break out a bunch of different items and go from there and see how it went. I have another cool linen here. Well, actually, it's a linen set. Starting out at $6, you're going to get the whole thing for 6 I was in a little antique mall the other day, or we were, and they were closing up the little antique store. It's not an antique mall, antique store. And this is one of the items that I grabbed. And you're going to get this whole lot starting at $6. You have your salad fork thing. Um, this opens up, and you put your salad forks yep. in the pouch there's a little pouch there a felt pouch same for tablespoons i'll take it so you got you have salad forks here and they have almost this chinese lantern look on them there's the tablespoons one we have knives this does have a little stain on the back of it yeah there might be some slight um discoloration but these are old and then we have forks. So you have knives, forks, tablespoons, and salad forks. Mm -hmm. That pretty much covers everything. So the silverware wraps are $6 for the lot. And they have this um, hand embroidered Chinese lanterns hanging from trees. And you will get all of them for one price. Okay, I see Yvonne at six. I am going to start counting down from 15 and let, let us know in the comments if 15 isn't long enough due to a lag or some other reason, okay? So here we go, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. I didn't see anyone else come in on that, did you? No. All right, Yvonne, those are coming your way. Thank you very much. I, can, I think I can reach. That's the stuff that's not sold over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. For once. That's why I'm here. You For heard once. her say it. You heard her say that I was right. Let's try this big old boy here. These are probably 1960s, if I had to guess. Oh, don't you fall. It's okay. Well, why don't you just knock everything over there, klutzy? jingle bells in his ears in this ear this is a let me see if he has a marking big old floppy vintage dog I actually have two of these they're very similar there is this one here and then I have another one three dollars to start on these 19 that's probably 60s or 70s right great condition Floppy cuddle dogs. <laughs> yes, this is Gino. Hi, Tammy. Who said Hi, that? Hi, Tammy. Yvonne, your shipping rates Christy. are going up. Christy was asking your name. <laughs> oh, okay. Here, you want to hold this? I thought you were side? saying it. This looks like me. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you have an interest in this one, she could get the other one out for you to look at. Yeah, we have two available. Um, we're just marking them to $3. They came out of this um, estate that had a whole bunch of vintage toys that they collected. And, Take um, me home. Yeah, I thought they were cute, so I had to rescue them. So they've just been sitting on top of my shelf. Uh, $3 to start on this 
floppy puppy here. That's his tummy. Yeah, he's a he's a big boy. I'd say yeah, he's got some fuzz on him. 18, 19 inches long. Doesn't and we can put much. we can mail him right in a poly bag. I have big poly bags that we could put him in. You sure? I think I'd rather put this guy in a box. You think? Yeah. It does you know, when you get the big poly bags, um, when you go to ship them, they charge you as if it's a box, if it's over a certain dimension. I think it's if it's over eighteen inches in any dimension, then you have to file Hi, it Christy. as a box. So gotta get back to work. All right. Nice uh, meeting you, Christy. What's this guy's name here? Fred. Okay, Fred. Fred is available for $3 yeah. start for Fred. I'm going to write Fred on here. Hello. I can sit in your back window and just watch everybody as you're driving down the road. Aw, he'd be really cute on, on a bed. So if you have like a... Oh, yeah. There's Big old that. vintage bed, and yeah, he'd be really cute laying on that. If you collect toys, he's got his little beret. He's in really good condition. If you have a roof rack and want to freak people out, you could. He has a jingle bell in his ear. All so right. this was probably a baby toy back in the day. I'm guessing that Fred is going to have to go to the island of unwanted dogs. Aw. Poor Fred. Yeah. Nobody I, loves him. Nobody cares. Oh, geez. Next up, we have a pair of vintage wall owls. I think these are, I don't know who makes these. Um, this is what they look like here. This is Hoot and this is Toot. Here you hold Hoot. I'll hold Toot. I ain't holding Toot. Hoot and Toot. Feels like it's foam, like yeah, lightweight foam, very lightweight. They're uh, in great condition. Yeah, they sure are. This is the back. I'm guessing somebody hand painted all this. No. No. Mm -mm. How would you get all that detail on a piece of foam? These are by a company from back in like the the seventies, I believe. Maybe even the 60s. So what's the price on these? This is an $8 start for both of the owls. I do want to measure. Hopefully somebody gives a hoot. Um, about. I'm trying to get that. About seven and a half inches. You know how to use that thing? Yeah, about seven inches, I guess. Home interior. I was going to say home co. Is that the same thing? I think it is. I think home co is vintage home interiors, basically. But I was looking for the mark on them, but I don't see one on these. These guys here. So you're going to get hoop and toot for, what did I say, $8 start. Um, if you don't have a pair of these owls already, you need one for your collection. Yes. Home Co. Okay. That's what I was thinking, but I wasn't sure. All right. Well, you know, owls are endangered species, so. Never noticed their little tummies are so cute. Look at that. All right, folks. Well, if there's no interest, let's move on to the next thing because we always end up going way over on these shows. On these shows. Oh, it's right here. All right. Toot and Hoot are going to the office. She's back in the oblivion here. I have a, and we do have a mystery bag today. I do want to tell you, $10 start on the mystery bag. Um, there's some cool items in here. So if anybody is interested in that, we do have one mystery bag today for ten dollars the next item up is this little bag here and it is has 11 little vintage um pins in there the different ones like this one is a bunny i don't know if these are handmade um then there's some birds with hearts but there are 11 different ones in here. Well, 
I think it's mostly birds and bunnies that looks like there is a something blue in there too. Maybe a blue bird. So you're going to get all 11 of the pins. Um, the owls were $8 start on the owls. And this bag of pins is $4. And there's 11 little pins in there. And they're all sealed up. You want to just take them out? No, they're all the same. Oh, it's all the same? Yeah, there's bunnies and birds in here. And you have little googly eyes. I think they're made of wo either wood or plastic. I don't even know where I got these from. There's a blue one, too. This one has no, no finish on it. Oh, it's a rabbit. Yeah, they're rabbits. There's black and white rabbits. Oh, all right. Bluebirds, and then... Um, Shows what I know. Doves. So you're going to get the whole bag of 11 for $4 for the old, um, vintage pins. Oh, do you want the owls? Can you pull the owls back over? Yeah, we can do the owls. I you can go can. ahead and just type in your start on that, and we will count it down for you, okay? And we're just going back to sleep. Whew. It's warm down here. You're just hot, that's all. I am warm. You are hot. I just hit myself in the face with the ruler. You, you are what? hot. That's what it is. I have a fan right here. All right. These heavy sweatpants on. That's what it is. You selling the fan? All right. Ooh. The owls are starting at $8. That feels good. So we are going to start a countdown. We're going back to the owls, folks. All right. I'll hold two. You Hoot hold and two. two. I can hold one. Okay. Two hands. Jeez. I'll let you do the countdown. All right. So um, I think Tammy was in at eight on these. Hey, it looks like Tammy's taking us home. Awesome. Tammy, you just have to put an eight in the chat there so we know that you are interested. And then I will start the countdown, if you could, please. Hello? It's me. How's that Adele song go? I was wondering if after all those years you'd like to me. <laughs> Somebody in here has a, an owl complex. What? Somebody in here has an owl complex. I don't know what you mean. Go ahead and ask. Who? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, Tammy, are you in on this? These guys? If so, please put it in the chat so we can start a countdown. There she is. All, All right. right. Let's start that countdown. We're going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. I don't think anybody else was in on those. I do have one other set that's different. If you want to see them, um, I could grab them. They're right behind me. They are um, very like mid-century looking. The other ones I have, I think they're really cute. Here's your owls. You want me to take them? We'll move your knee. Over. Well, since you're interested in that, Tammy, I guess we'll, she'll break out the... Uh... Well, only if she wants to see them, I won't. Okay. Yes. She said yes. She said hurry up. Okay. They're right here. That's right. It says right there, hurry up, Sugar Bridges. You're going too slow. I haven't seen these ones before. I bought them at the same time, so they lived with that other set. And this one is like a mama. You want is to hold it mama? Foam as well? Yep. Same thing. The yep. foam. So I'm assuming the same company. And the little baby. 
the mama and the baby. I think they have a mid-century look about them because of the eyes, right, and the colors. Um, $8 start on these as well if you're interested. Well, wow, these are cool. I didn't know we had these. That's because you don't come down here and, and look at all the good I stuff. We got good and, shit. I come down here and clean up, <laughs> clean up after the good shit sales. Mm-hmm. And these little guys are eight dollars to start. Um, if anybody is interested, I see Tammy at eight. We'll go ahead and start that countdown because I think you might be the only one interested. But we'll start at fifteen just in case. You want to do it? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And stop. I'll have to make a tag up for these. These are really cool. Yeah, I, I like those too. I liked both of them. You know why I don't see this stuff? Because <laughs> there's mountains of it. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Do you have a paper towel I can wipe the side of my face off? Dusty. Wet. There you go. <laughs> I have allergies. I can't help it. You're allergic to hot old men. That's what it is. Sure. All right, I should have sold this item, but I this is one item that I just picked up. I should have sold this for Valentine's Day, but um, I missed it. I missed it. This is Balik. It is a Balik heart. It does have the pale pink rim. You can see it there. It's in lovely condition. It's marked Balik on the back. $10 start on the Balik heart. I'm going to measure it for you. I could use the... It's about six and a half inches in length and six inches across. You can see the um, pale pink rim there on the inside. These do come in different colors. The pink one was my favorite. And this came from that little antique store that was closing up. She had it sitting kind of hidden. So I was surprised that I saw this and I got one other piece of Balik from her as well. Uh, thank you, Tammy. I appreciate it. So um, if you know Balik, it's very uh, fine, very delicate. Um, this would be adorable for Easter even. You could use it for Easter candy. Um, beautiful for Valentine's Day. Oh, are you working, Tammy? I have to work later. And you can see that detail on the side of the, the bowl there. So I don't know if we have any collectors of Balik in here right now, but I do have another piece. It's a vase. Um, a thistle vase that I will show you in a little bit. Um, watching back, if you do see something you like, be sure to email me. I can let you know if the item is still available. And we can go from there. How about that? All right, I put this on the table because Easter's coming up and I thought this would be cute to do for Easter. It is a Royal Dalton Bunnykin set. You can see the little plate right there. You have the mug at the top. And then on this side is the other side of the mug. And then you have a bowl. This complete bunnykin set is a start of $12. It's a three piece set. Cereal bowl, mug and plate would be really cute to use for Easter, uh, for grandchild or, or child. Uh, Make there's, it their special Easter set almost. There's one little tear claw in the box. Yeah, the box has just a little rip in it right here, but you could just add a piece of double stick tape behind it and you wouldn't even notice. It does come with the handle. I think I actually did this. Yeah, I did it. You can see the detail there. 
It looks like um, it's like a camping scene there, and then they're on a beach scene, and then a little playground scene. So um, it's really, really cute. Cute Easter bunnykin set. And we have a $12 start on that. Still in the box, the children's set. Royal Dalton, what is going on? Just throw that in the trash. All right, we'll pass on that. You get to pick out the next item. Yeah, for those of you that didn't uh, join us from the beginning, if you get a few minutes, please watch the, the part of the sale that preceded your arrival. And we have lots of good stuff today. It's kind of a hodgepodge, I guess, a mixture. Just we've been having specific sales recently and decided just to. Uh, Pick some stuff out and see what happens. So, I like to do these next. Time. I love those. I found these at an estate sale. These were in the um, nursery area, hidden up in the closet. So, nobody had seen them. Yep. But I saw them. They were on the top shelf, and I saw one little piece peeking out, and they were up there. And these are in, like, brand new yeah, they condition. Are. It's amazing. This is the whole set that would go up on the wall. See how they have a hanger, like a nursery hanger. These are Sesame Street characters. There's the big guy, big bird. I tried to find this set and um, these can go for quite a bit. This one is in beautiful condition. Um, I did notice a little bit of the paper pulled back just on Ernie's head right there. A spot of glue would fix that. Let me look off over these other ones here. Big Bird looks good. Oh, what did I see that? Oscar on his ice cream right there. Now, I'm just being very nitpicky, but there's a little piece there on the, um, and this is Muppets. Actually, it says Muppets Incorporated. See it? Yeah. Well, right. Since when is Sesame Street Muppets? Is it? Why am I thinking? I guess it would be, right? Because they're puppets. It says Muppets Incorporated. Well, it's a five-piece set. Starting bid is twenty dollars. So I have Disney ones of these, um, the train, and I have Pinocchio. They were popular back in the eighties, seventies, eighties. You hang them up in the nursery on the wall, and they were just made of this pressed cardboard. Oh my goodness. I have no idea. They're puppets, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. This we're, is Oscar. We're not about their private life. Yeah. Is the dog wind chime still available? Yes, Janine, it is. Would you like that one? And good morning, Janine. Good morning, Queen Me. Yep. I don't think they've recognized Queen Me. And we both, I just noticed we have both Tammies in here. Tammy Renee and Tammy. If I didn't say hello, hello and good morning. All right, Janine, I will put your name on the wind chime for you real quick. These are a $20 start on these pressed paper wall hangings. Um, you can continue to show those. Right back. All right. All right, folks, if we have any interest on the Muppets, be they straight, gay, heavy-duty partiers, whatever. Where did you put the dog? It's hanging up by the scale over there. It's hanging on a hook. Here's a chance to get some history. This stuff all came out when... I was a teenager, so I didn't follow a whole lot, but I know Lorianne did. And Amora, good morning. Not sure I saw you in here earlier. So it's a five piece set, starting bid of $20, and they're in just about pristine condition. Colors are good, edges are good. Lorianne nitpicked a couple of things that looked just a little off to her. Like a little hat here needs a 
spot of glue to put the back down. Yep. I like these. I think they're really cute. Um, if you have a toy room or something like that, they'd be cute to put up there. All right. So let's set these guys aside. And then why don't we show this? Because that's another big item that we can okay. get off the table. Again, my kids grew up with these characters. There you go. Well, you might want to pick them up for the grandkids. Um, all right, so the Muppets went to the holding area. Now, for those of you that have been following us for a while, you know every once in a while we run into these ancient scrapbooks. That's or an album, photo albums. And this one's no exception. It is old. 1891. It is rough because on the outside. Because there's a saying on the back. Just You can go through it. Yep. Um, so... This is it. It's, what is it? Let's go with 12, about 15 inches in length and 8 inches in width and say 3 and a half inches across the spine. It's big. That's the back. And then this is the front. At one time, it was this beautiful blue velvet. Yeah. It still has the adornments on the corners, uh, and the uh, whatever it held it closed is missing. At least part of it is. There would have been a snap that held this closed on the end. This is a seventy-five dollar start on this album. So, yeah, there are pictures. You want me to help you hold that here? Well, I'm just not sure how to show you everything that's in it. These are old. Um, Can you put that hand under the bottom for a second? There yeah. you go. Trying to see there's a, a United States census, a 1900 census, the results that would have been, I don't know where that went. That was just sitting in there like uh, that. The United States in 1900, it's a census and some other information. Mm-hmm. Those were just tucked in there from the yep. census. So that's 120 years old. This stuff is very old. These pictures are very cool. Most of the spots are filled. Not all of them. Um, there's a baby. Not sure who these folks are. Uh, we we'll taking any of them out. I don't really want to take any of them out. See if there's anything on the back of them. This is really cool. Janine, I see you at 75. Yeah, you know, we. This is one of those things we we dig for here, and. Uh, I think we tend to find this stuff more so here than we did out west. I'm not sure why that is. It looks like a pair of, those aren't twin girls, but maybe sisters. Oh, good. Yeah, there's a whole, a whole bunch of pictures in the back. Yeah, a bunch of stuff just fell out of the back. These are pictures that go in the album, but um, we're tucked in. Yeah, really cool. You want to read what it says on the back of the album here? It says... This album was presented to something Huttinger by his scholars, 1891, in district number nine. It's like Coos School, K O O S School. Um, it's written Wait, in the back. Cookies. So this is really awesome, and you can see the inside of this is is also very. Quite beautiful and still good shape. You can tell it was closed and kept closed for a very long time. Whew. So all of those pictures are going to be tucked in the back here as well. Yeah, that's good. fine. Yeah. Actually, we'll put them in the front. All right, so. We have Janine okay, at 75. Okay, Quinn, thank you. Janine at 75, we can start the countdown. 
Nice to meet you, Queen. Yeah. You want to start the countdown, Bum? So, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I'll show you this. Just sleep. Five. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it in here so there's writing. Four. Three. Two. One. Move your hand. Are you going to stop it? Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Janine. That'll be going your way. And by the way, you're your box and another box will be shipping out later today. So, um, do we have any more of those right now? I have one more album if you want to see it. Um, I thought we had another one. That's a scrapbook. Oh, okay. We have this album here. This is one of those that stands. We've I think we sold one of these in California one time, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm not sure if this has... Yeah, there are some pictures in here. I don't know how many, but... Show it from the side. Yeah, I'll show it. So it would sit on a table like this, and you would open and look at the pictures. This one does have its clasp, and it works. Uh, there's a mirror on the front and then you can show the back the back side of it it's actually in pretty good shape i mean consider how old these things are they they've been through a lot yeah i'll hold it like that if you want to open it what's the start on this um i don't know how many pictures are in here so i'm not sure uh oh the inside cover is in great shape oh wow so this has writing on the back this first one says this one here says september 7th 1896. hi christy so i'm enjoying being home yes <laughs> so these pictures are really old this is an american beauty is what this one says 1896. uh compliments of your uncle joseph and aunt darcy or something on this one I don't see any writing on the other one. Get, can you get a little closer to the camera so they can see? There you go. Well, this one here. You has, don't have to read them, just flip through them. Well, that's kind of cool, the ones that have writing on them. Uh, that one's got, what's it say on the back? Is that one of those post mortem pictures there? I can't tell. Uh, which one? That lady in black right there. Oh. It may be. This one has a bunch of information on the back. If you can see it, it's all printed on there. Um, this may be a post-mortem picture. Well, does she look like she's dead? Well, she doesn't look very happy because her eyes are closed. Ooh. And what's it say in the back? Just the name J. Cook, Maine. East Toledo, Ohio. Okay, that's the printer. Are those know. babies? Yeah. I can't. And there's uh, a bunch of information on the bottom that would normally be hid when these are in place, but that's pretty cool that they have the original uh, uh, photographer information on these covers. They're just going to slide back down. <laughs> and again, here's another one on the back. I don't know if you can see all the information on it. It's really cool. These pictures, all almost all of them have some information about who took them or who they were or dates or whatever. And then there are some open, open ones. And there's a little one here in that open one. Uh, what I'm thinking is it looks like, is that a picture down there? No, no that's just the front of it. Okay, and then that's the last one. It's wood. 
or no, not wood. It's got a real pretty color in it, though. So, and... I'm going to get a close-up of the detail on the front here. It, it still latches and works. You can see the flower. What would you like on this one? Um, and it looks like this one actually has a hanger hang on the back. Yeah. So you could hang it on the wall. I gotta set it down, it's heavy. Woo. So yeah, that one does stand up by itself. It's a neat display piece. So what's the price? Um, I don't know, what should we start that off at? I guess we could start it at 75 as yeah. well. Why don't we start this one at 75? It's definitely more ornate than the last one. And it's a whole different design. The fact that it stands on its own, it's very cool. I think we've only ever seen one other one like this. I think it was a thing 125 years ago, but anyhow. Right, we see Janine at 75. Yeah, we, like I said, we look and we dig for these things when we're out. Um, we don't very often find them. All right, you want to start the countdown? All right, folks, here we go. 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. Stop. I didn't see anyone else come in on that. Janine, that's coming your way for $75. Thank you. We have an interesting scrapbook, but we're not ready to part with it. Um, because it's, there's the, a lot of the, the stuff that's in it was done by a specific artist. And there is a letter between the person that made the scrapbook and that artist from 1930 or 1931. Just she, you know, he's saying, well, thank you for all the, the nice compliments you gave me and so on and so forth. Um, we're just trying to determine exactly who this person is, if it's real collectible or, or just, you know, run of the mill. Once we get that sorted out, we'll either keep it or sell it. We haven't decided yet. We have a mystery bag as well. $10 start on the mystery bag and I will open it if you want me to. If not, I will send it to you unopened. Yeah. You know how Sugar Bridges mystery bags and boxes are? They're yeah. Are pretty cool. All right, this here, can you throw that in the trash for me? This is a fishing lot for $10 start. You're going to get all kinds of fishing gear in here. That goes with this. There's some really cool stuff in here. It is vintage. Um, there's all kinds of goodies in here. $10 start. I don't even know where I got this from. You can see the inside of this. I like the package on this one. The squid, There's worms, all kinds of hooks. This one is really cool. But you're going to get this whole bag. I won't pull everything out. There's still a ton in there. Bye, Janine. Thank you. You're going to get this whole bag for $10 start. If you have any fishermen in your life or you collect fishing gear or you know somebody that does or you just want some cool pieces to display, this bag is um, has quite a bit. $10 for the vintage fishing gear. All right. I'm all dusty. I have a fun game here few different ones. This one is called Cat Crimes. This is a $4 start. It's a board 
game, I believe. Who's to blame logic game? So it has the scene here, comes with all the pieces and the cards. Um, who's to blame logic game, challenge cards. Let me see what it says. Oh, it's on the back. Tangled yarn and a missing bird. Which of the six furry friends was responsible for each cat crime? With a little problem solving, you'll be able to use paw prints, toy placement, and other clues to figure out exactly where each cat sitting at the, was sitting at the time of the crime. So it looks like there's 60 different, I'm sorry, 40 different challenges with four levels to play. So this is a, a cool game to play with the family. If you have a cat lover, um, this would be kind of fun. Cat Crimes, and it's $4. I have a box of glass. I think they're all pretty much glass beads here. $3 start on this. Really pretty. Some of them are strung. Ooh, that looks vintage right there. It's like a metal piece. All kinds of uh, beautiful little beads. I'm thinking they are glass. Ooh, what is that? There are these little crystal things in here. Like a teardrop. All kinds of little treasures in this box, and you're going to get the full box for one price. Um, $3 start for the whole box. And I think they are glass. I don't know. Looks like there's some metal ones in here, too. No, that's not metal. That's a pearl. This one is interesting, though. I'm trying to see what it says on the back. Hold on. Dusty. Miriam Maskell or something? I don't know. Those albums were really cool. I've had those for a little bit. Um, last beads, $3 start. I will set those aside. Fun little set of four vintage trays here. Starting out at, at $12, you're going to get all four of them. I think these are Jerry Will. Jerry Will is the name on there. They look to be hand painted. This is the gray one here. So you would have your, your plate here, and then your cup would go up here. This is the gray design. They are wood. This is the tan. Then we have the pink. And lastly, we have the teal. So these are children's uh, wooden trays, like TV tray style. If they're sitting on the couch, you give them the tray with their bowl of SpaghettiOs and their cup of juice. You get all four of these trays for one price, starting out at $12. You get blue, pink, tan, and gray. And these are hand painted. Jerry Will Vintage Trays. I liked those. I thought those were really cool. Got those in a, at a fancy, um, fancy house estate sale. All right. We have another tablecloth here. This is starting out at 
five dollars and i'm going to hold it up for you i didn't measure it unfortunately i forgot to do that this is um cross stitch i think but you can see the detail there all right let's see if i can hold this up and you can get the full it's like an oval $5 start on the tablecloth here. I see Carrie Ann at five. There's the middle. This is all hand done. I do want to look it over and see if there's any stains on there. I try to look them over really good when I buy them, but sometimes I miss it. Rose design in the corners all the way around. It looks really good. I don't see any staining on it, but you can see. Um, I guess it's kind of round, right? More of a round tablecloth than an oval one. Pretty good size. The detail in the middle is beautiful. And then you have the detail along the edges here. It is really nice. This beautiful tablecloth, again, is $5. I see Carrie Ann at five. Ann Mora, I see you at six. Beautiful for spring. It's got the different color flowers along the, the edge there. Somebody put a lot of time into that. All righty. And Mora, I see you at six. And it has the silver edging on it. That's really nice. It was folded up so nice. Let's see if I can get it how it was. Probably not. All right, we're gonna start the countdown. My helper went upstairs real quick, so we gotta wait for him to come back down. But we'll start the countdown on this. Um, let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Oh, Carrie Ann came in it. Hey, ooh, Carrie Ann, you just made it in there at eight. I think they call that a snipe, huh? <laughs> All right, Carrie Ann, I got you for $8. Thank you very much. What is that? I don't know what Oh, you know what? I think that came out of the album. Yeah, well, Janine isn't here, but this was in the album as well. Um, so I'm going to tuck that back in there. It was on the floor, so it must have fell out of there. 1931, What's the most recent? Irish's Orthography and Orthepi. Does that say John F. Kennedy? Does not. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to tuck that back in your album. Sorry. I think that came out. I am out of control. But those of you that know me already knew that. So. All right. So what's going on here? We just sold the tablecloth. Okay. I thought I had a sticker for these. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, I do. This is a fun little whimsical item. Do you remember these? Okay, so this comes off of here. Let me separate it for you. This lot's going to be $5. It's a vintage baby pin lot, but look at this 
pin, this plastic pin with a little ducky. You remember these? It's a rattle. So you're going to get that. Jerry well. Yeah, the, the Jerry well is the trays. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to get these blue rings here, but attached on every ring is one of those vintage pins. With This one is a bunny rabbit. Whoops, it's upside down. There's a bunny. I guess I could take these off of here. Yeah, that's funny. They're all hooked together. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six of these blue rings, and you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six of the baby, the um, safety pins. You get yellow bunnies, and you get these adorable, cute little white bunnies on here. Those are really cool. Yeah. Vintage baby pin set. Okay, Yvonne, I can definitely put you down for those. Um, this lot starts at $5. I'll grab these if you want to hold those up for everyone to see. I will take care of this. All right. Thank you, Yvonne. So here they are. The big the rattle, the baby pin, and the six rings with the stick, six little decorative pins on it. $5. It's all yours. That's a deal at twice the price. <laughs> we have it any is. interest in these? If not, we're going to set them really aside. And, well, you thought I was really I don't know what these blue things are. You thought I was really cute, too. But, but these all come apart, by the way. There's don't an opening opening here. And so you can take these. Yeah. You can take them apart. But I wouldn't. Okay. And then the this. pins come off. I don't know what these blue things are. They're pin holders. Are they like teething rings or something like that? They're pin holders. Okay. Is that what it is? I guess. So that's what they're doing. All right. We'll set those aside. We'll hook that back on here. All right. Any interest in that, just let us know when you anybody know. watches the video back. Let's right. do this guy here. Okay. This is the other Balik piece that we have. It's called a thistle vase. A what? Thistle. Say that fast three times. Thistle, thistle, thistle. It's five and a half inches tall. It has some kind of flower on the it's outside. It's a thistle. Oh, yeah. That's why it's, it's called thistle. a thistle vase. That would be a thistle on the side. Let's see if we can get I it know, a little closer. Uh, finches love thistle seed, so... Yep, it's got a thistle on either side here. It's actually in really good shape. Yeah, it's a beautiful example of Balik. It does have the Balik mark on the bottom here. Um, what did you say it was? Five? Five and a half inches mm -hmm. tall. Beautiful for spring. If you collect Balik and you don't have one of these in your collection, this might be your time to get one. This um, Balik vase is $15 to start. It's very, if you know Balik, um, it's very light. Just not a heavy. Um, no. It's just And you can almost see through it, right? It almost has that look like you can almost see through it. it has this, um, I don't know if that's considered like a basket weave or texture on it. But the, the thistle flowers are beautiful. They are rough. I looked it over. I didn't see any crick, uh, cricks. I don't nope, see any chips no or, cricks or, or cricks. Rivers or creeks mm -mm. or anything else. Um, but it just has more of a rougher feel to it. Well, it means it could easily be broken, too, so you got to be careful with it. No, it, that's just how it's made. Well, I know, but you certainly wouldn't want to catch anything on it. The top of the flower, whoop has like a real rough feel to it as well that's just the, how the thistle the thistle is and it has that beautiful edge is to it, it clean down inside mm -hmm. it doesn't appear to have any stains or marks inside you know like somebody left water smell. in it for six years and let it dry out 
$15 on the Thistle Balik vase or the Balik Thistle vase. Over my ear. Right. But here's something I remember as a child, but that's because I'm old. What? I was giving them a sneak peek of something. It's oh. a mysterious, lucky jewel glass item that I have no idea what it is. But you put look the at. light on it? No. It should, should be we? a PC, PC reading glass. Well, we should, because I don't know what it is. Is it a jewel? I don't know. Yeah. Let me go check it out and sell my, sell my tiddlywinks. All right. We have a Tiddlywinks game here. And um, Yvonne, I did set those aside for you. I don't know if I said that, so thank you. Tiddlywinks game. I tried to find a date on this. I looked it up yesterday. I couldn't find it. Um, it is made in the USA. It tells me so right here. This is an $8 start on the Tiddlywinks game. This is what it looks like inside. It's got the cup in the middle, and it is a glass a glass cup in the middle and there goes all of, all of the tiddlywinks everywhere there's a penny in here it's a wheat penny it's old i'll have to have gina look at that because the i can't make out what it says I dropped the tiddlywink on the floor. I know. But there's an old penny. Oh my gosh, I'm having a great day. Milton Bradley Company. Can you see if there's any more on the floor that I missed? I thought just one fell. There's one that's over there. No, that's a sticker. All right. I don't see anything else. If you buy it, we'll take one more look before we ship it. This is this penny was in there, and it's a wheat penny. I was just trying to see the date on it. Oh. All right. So it's got the glass container in the middle. This is in beautiful condition. All of your little tiddlywinks are in there. This is the box. Oh, my goodness. The box cover. And then he's checking the date on the penny. We'll include the penny with it. My Flea Market Treasures, I see you at eight. Why do I keep wanting to do that sideways? He's trying to zoom in on it. Oh, wow. For those of you who collect coins, you know this is a good one. It's a 1929S. It's not the Philadelphia Mint. It's the, this is a San Francisco Mint, I believe, Wheat Penny, which is... These are highly sought after, so the fact that you're getting the penny for the price of the Tiddlywinks is pretty cool. You're getting the penny. 1929. I'm S putting it in there. Just before the Depression hit. Or right when the Depression was hitting. You're getting the Tiddlywinks with the amazing really penny. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and start to count the countdown on this yes the box is in beautiful condition the, the artwork on it that's why i bought it because i love this kind of stuff all right i see yvonne at nine all right g you want to start the countdown here we go 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. The fact that you're getting that penny is pretty cool. I used to collect coins when I was a kid, and anything with wheat on it was cool, and anything from the 20s or earlier was pretty cool. All right, let's see. Oh, Yvonne, you got it for $9. Thank you. That penny might be worth $9 for all you know. <laughs> He's all excited about the penny. All right. We have a little game here called Zoom. $3 start on this. I don't know if it's complete because it said it came with a little whiteboard. Yeah. Easter colors. Right. 
travel car game of wheels. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the heck that means. Oh, I think it was just meant for when you were in a car. So, it comes with this little spinny wheel, right? Oh, maybe you have to spot that when you're on the road, the vehicle. And then you want to hold that. Yeah. $3 start on this. Again, I don't know if it's complete. It's just sold as is. You get these little cards here. Yeah. And there's different ones, like a tractor wheel, two points. A truck wheel, four points. And they have the little tire on the other side. An airplane wheel, five points. Bicycle, automobile, bicycle, tractor, airplane, truck, auto, airplane, That's truck, probably gonna truck. Be it. Bicycle, bicycle, uh, yeah. These are, the ones at the top these. are duplicated on the bottom, and it says airplane, tractor, truck, auto, bicycle. But above it, it's like airplane, tractor, tractor, truck, truck, bicycle, auto, airplane, bicycle, I like this. auto. I almost like the back side of the box better. I think it's so cute with a little farm, and they're in the, in the truck driving along. Um, I think it's really cute. So anyway, this vintage card game is three dollars um, for the Zoom card game. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It had to be something you played in the car, and you must have been looking for these various vehicles or something. I don't know. Yep, play while traveling, play at home. There you go. That's even got a little uh, handle on it. Yep, has a little handle. You close the box, and you can pull the little string through. For the handle. If I can get a hold of it. There it is. Three dollars. That's a deal at three times the price. Mm -hmm. All right. We will set that one aside. Let's do this bag here. I have no idea what this is, but you're going to get the whole bag for three dollars. They look they're, like they're Eiffel, Eiffel Towers. Towers. But what do you do with them? Yeah, maybe you poke your sister in the eye with them. I don't know. So there's blue, red, and yellow. And so your primary a, colors. A whole bag of them here. Maybe you balance them. I don't know. Balance them. Well, maybe I'm not quite sure so. what you do with them. But you get a whole bag of these Eiffel Towers. Yeah. And if you know what they're for, let us know, because we've never seen anything quite like this before. I bought them because they were Eiffel Towers, but I had no idea what they were. $3 for a whole bag of Eiffel Towers. And it's cheaper than a trip to Paris. It is. I don't know. I just really thought they All were right. cute. One last look. Back in the bag they go. Well, that was quick. Hey, you know what? You know, up front, if anybody's interested in it. And again, watch the videos back. If you don't see that it was claimed on here, there's a good chance it's there's still There's probably available. a good, what, 25 in there, I would guess? Yeah. Maybe more? Uh, I don't know about that. They're pretty big. Yeah. So, for three bucks, if you have a craft or something you could use little Eiffel Towers for, you could probably spray paint these black Why or pink. Why would you spray paint them? To make them, like, more muted gold. Ooh, you could spray paint them gold. My flea market treasures is in at three. There you go. That's a good flea market find right there. So we're going to start counting it down in case there's any other interest. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stop. And if you ever figure out what they are, I'd be curious to know. Yeah. All right, Jarrett, those are coming your way. Thank you. All right. This. We still have a mystery bag for $10 yep. if anybody's interested. No Sugar Bridges mystery bags. 
All right, this next thing, I believe it's glass. What it looks like to me. Um, do you want to sell this? Or? I was going to see if anybody knows what it is. So it doesn't glow under black light, so it is not uh, heavy uranium oxide in it. Smell it. Kind of smells like sugar britches. Lick it. You lick it. No. <gasps> My flea market treasures wants a mystery bag. Do you want us to open it or do you want it to be a mystery and just ship it? Anybody knows what this thing is? We're just curious. It doesn't glow under black light, so it just looks to me, I, I would say it's a piece of glass, but I'm not 100% sure. Because, it's a lucky jewel. Yeah. This looks like a piece of road rage equipment here. No, it's beautiful. Okay. Coming your way. It is coming your way. All right. Anybody has any ideas? Let us know. I don't know. What uh, the colors in it are amazing. Look. I picked this up at an estate sale. I think it came, they said, from the Bermuda Triangle. Um, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did. They were they were going down and they threw it up out of the water as they were going down uh -huh. and this landed uh -huh. on the back of a norwal it's also related to the flange plant um the norwal somehow got close enough to an island it fell off somebody picked it up and they brought it back as a souvenir so this comes from the depths of um the ocean in the Bermuda Triangle. Uh -huh. I think that they showed this on the Brady Bunch at one time uh -huh. when they were in Hawaii. Uh -huh. It was um, next to that uh, cursed tiki uh, necklace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'm not sure what special powers this has, but <laughs> if anybody's interested, I don't know. Usually, if, it, know. if it's glass, I think it would be uh, like more it'd be sharper or more scalloped and there's other inclusions in it that yeah i'm not sure maybe. i don't know what it is maybe it's a piece but would of, glass have that inclusion yeah in it? that this would be so we live near just outside of toledo ohio and toledo ohio is considered the glass capital of the world um there's a uh, owens illinois is here and libby glass is here and libby glass at least back in the day, would have these huge pieces of slag Seems glass that. that they would. Uh, it does kind of look like slag glass, but yeah. why is there rocks in it? Well, that, that's because it was it wasn't good enough to use in something. It was like skimmed off the top potentially, or something like that. Anyway, I have this. I didn't even know where I got it. I know I got it in a state sale. Can't remember what I paid for it, and have no idea what it is. So, if anybody knows, let me know. And just to reiterate. We're selling the 4-inch Sugar Bridges Sweet Ass Stuff Stickers for $3. If you want one, we'll throw it in your box. And we're selling the 3-inch on our way to get some good shit at Sugar Bridges Sweet Ass Stuff Stickers for $2. And I have 5-inch stickers coming for $5. And I did give you a sneak peek if you saw my advertisement on Instagram, yeah. the two little lions. It is basically that advertisement on a sticker. I thought it was adorable. So um, those are coming as well if you want a sticker. Limited quantity on all of those. I I only have a few of these left. And I have maybe 25 of these. So, um, And then the, I'll have a limited quantity. Limited. Lim, limited. Limpid, limpid. <laughs> limited quantity on the Lion Mr. one limpid. too. Mm -hmm. This here is a vintage toy. Where's that board? Here it is. Let's let's put it on this. So He's see a Sea World whale. Sea World whale. Oops. Let's bring it up close. Can you hold it right there? All right. So when you push the whale, his tongue comes out, and his hat goes up and down. Right? Let's see if we can do it straight on. And his eyes move. Blue. I think it's 
think it's one of those that you push and, and it goes. Well, you know. would pull it backwards and wind it up. I don't know. Well, I don't know. That's the case to bring this shot, but we don't know. His tongue and his hat. It's got little fins back here. That would be um, a fail. Whatever. The little whale is $3. I tried to find another one. His little hat comes on and off. Um, well, I can't reach it. It pops on and off. There it goes. Yeah. Let's see. His little eyes move and his tongue comes in and out. I thought it was the tuna guy, right? Charlie. The, yeah. And then I saw Starkus. So I. I think he's a whale, right? Looks Where like... do you see Starkist? No, I I said I thought he was Charlie the Tuna. You saw SeaWorld, not Starkist. Charlie's from Starkist. When I bought him, I thought he was okay. Starkist. I didn't see it said SeaWorld on it. So this little guy here is $3. And he's just a really cool little shelf sitter. Vintage piece from SeaWorld. Couldn't find another one online, so he might be quite rare. So if you collect little little bits of SeaWorld, and this is his bottom. What does it say? Made in Hong Kong. So it's Hong Kong piece with his little tongue. Three dollars. All right, let's do, you want to do this one? I have showed this one before, the Carnival Glass Vase. Oh, Mother Tucker is in the house. You want the Sea World little tuna whale? That's Jason, right? See if the gray matter is working right today or not. I believe he is Jason. We met in Springfield, and we did a beautiful video, put some awesome music to it while we, after we met him and some others. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Doesn't look like anybody else is interested in that, so we're just going to call that sold. Thank you. Yeah, Jason, if you get a chance, look back at uh, the video if you have time. But there's a lot of things that didn't necessarily sell today. We got this little carnival glass vase here. Oh, oh, she has a mermaid collection. Ooh. Trying to think if I have any mermaid stuff. I don't know if I do. The closest thing I have with a tail is... Me? No. No. I tried. It's sitting right here. Is this guy here. How cool is he? It's like a un it's a goat mermaid. <laughs> what is that? Like a Capricorn? Does a Capricorn have its mermaid tail? Is that a bottle opener? It's a bottle opener. Yeah. I paid up for this. I got this in Napa out in a um oh, it's silver, silver on plate. a vineyard. Remember that estate we went to? You probably don't. Oh, we yeah. out in the country, it was a vineyard. You had all the fishing stuff. Um I found this at that sale. Yeah. It was up in the central part of the Napa Valley. It was way out in the vineyard yeah. area. Mm -hmm. And if you know anything about the Napa Valley, it's not very wide. There's some cross streets that go from east I to west. I remember where I got him, and I think I paid up quite a bit for him, but I had never seen anything, and I really liked his It was space. an old farm. So he we was found some cool. brand new 80-year-old fishing stuff. I remember that out in the garage. Um, But, yeah, that's the only thing with a mermaid tail. <laughs> I think. I don't think I have any mermaid stuff. I would pull it for you if I did. Lurking. Always lurking. I I watch your sales too. It's just I I don't usually say anything, but I'm watching. <laughs> you do a group sale. I think the last time I watched there was three other people um, in your sale. But yeah, you guys have some good stuff for sure. This adorable little carnival glass vase does have some inclusions in the glass, and you can see one is right up in there. Um, and, I mean, I thought it was a crack at first, but you can't feel it. 
And then there's one down here. It almost looks like it um, has a crack, but it's smooth. There's a, um, you said that's the seam. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the bottom. So I did mark it down a bit when I bought it. I didn't notice the inclusions in the gloss. So we're doing a $5 start on this. Let me measure it. I think I had it closer to 10 last time. Yeah, the hiccups almost. Six and a half, well, seven inches in height at the highest peak there um, for the carnival glass swung vase. Six fingers on this one. Great price of $5. $5 start on this uh, little carnival glass vase. I didn't see any markings on it. Again, you can see the um, main issue down here is on the bottom. It's it's complete. It just looks like there is a crack, but we can't tell if there is. It's, it's totally smooth on the bottom. You can feel like almost a seam or something on the top. So I'm not sure what's going on with this vase. So I did mark it down to five. And Tammy, I see you at five on it. To be honest, it's not very um, noticeable. If you have it sitting like that, you're not going to see that inclusion at all. Um, but it does have some variations in the color and the glass inside. Again, it's yeah. smooth. Yeah, we can't feel it. You can see it, but you can't feel it. So all right, so Tammy's at five. Let's go ahead and start the countdown here. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Stop. I didn't see anybody else come in on that one. So uh -uh. that one, um, I think is going to Tammy. Let's just, oh, Tammy, this is coming your way. Thank you very much. So you want to see if anybody has the interest in this thing? Yep. So we found, I, I forget, uh, Lori Ann picked this up somewhere. She wasn't sure what it was. Um, I know from being in the machining world and some casting experience when I was younger, this is a, is a mold piece, okay? So this would have been pressed into a sand mold, then removed, and they would have filled the sand with cast iron or whatever they were making it out of. This to me looks like a, a drain or a plug or something that will be walked on. Um, it's wood. It's old. It ha it's missing the, the W over here. It says, you get a close-up of it up here. You can see the Ironworks, Antique Ironworks mold. Yeah. I would use it just as a bowl. It would be really cool yeah, it's... for that. It does have the textured bottom. This is what the side looks like. It's just a piece of history. You Somebody... can see the metal letters at the bottom. They probably brought it home from a casting plant because they were going to not no longer use it and um it says something over here common iron works is that what it says uh i'm not sure anyhow it's an old iron works it mold. is wood that's all it, it, it what like i said it would have been placed in a a sand casting they would have packed it in the sand they would have put this in here and packed all around it and then remove this and cast the cavity that was left behind by this. Um, it's antique. It's very old. Mm -hmm. So neat, neat display piece. Um, you could put marbles in it. You could put, you know, collectible items in there. Um, pine cones, potpourri, whatever you wanted. I wouldn't put any food in there. No, absolutely <laughs> not. But um, yeah, it, it has these metal letters down here. It's missing the W, but it says works at the bottom. And then at the top, it would have had metal letters here. And I think it says. Something Ironworks is probably a city or name of the company. 
Oh, yeah. I wouldn't say common, but. No, it doesn't. That looks like a J or something. It says Johnson Iron Ironworks. Yeah, you can Johnson make it Ironworks is what it says. So some of the metal letters are missing. So I well, think I did look up this company. It went back into the 1800s. Um, so this would have been, like he said, a mold for something. I think it makes a cool display piece, either on the back of your vignette, um, as a bowl, whatever you would choose. You could even use it as a riser if you put it like this. Oh, Tammy, you missed out on the trays. Oh, I can definitely do width on it. Yeah, or diameter. I do have metal trays too that I have not sold yet. About eight inches, a little bit more than eight inches in diameter on this bowl. It's a $5 start for the Johnson Ironworks Antique Mold Bowl. Just a really cool piece. Um, I like interesting pieces like this. Yvonne, I see you at five. Yeah, I did show those a while back. Those came up from a real fancy house in Ottawa Hills. I went to an estate sale and those came out of that house. They had some really neat, really neat stuff. Can you see if you can get that lid off for me? <laughs> I could not get it. All right, so Yvonne, you're at five on this bowl here. I'm going to go ahead and start the countdown on it. Yeah, it's really stuck. Five. Oh, I'm going to start at ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop all right Yvonne that is coming your way for five dollars thank you very much Jesus Christ. Ugh. did you get it yeah we can dump those out well we can offer them up I'm just getting over a trigger thumb so it really hurts to put pressure on it but it's getting better All right, what do we have? Yvonne, did you see the squeaker? Did you see squeaker the um the robot dog that we have? I wasn't I'm not sure if you Yeah, you were in here when we showed that. You were. All right. So oh. you are going to get I'm just going to set this on top. I'm not going to put it back. Don't put it back. In. The next item we have is a vintage Ritz cheese Ritz tin. Cracker they with aged cheddar cheese. Yeah. Made in USA, National Biscuit Company. Five dollars um, start on this tin. And the interesting thing about it, what's the size? Oh, what diameter? It's about six inches yeah, about diameter six. and how tall? About six inches tall. The interesting thing about this, when we got it, Grandma kept the clothespins in it. So we can dump those out if you don't want the clothespins. Yeah, if you don't want to pay for shipping in the clothespins, we'll take them. We'll show them the tin, though. If you want them, we will just leave them in the tin and ship them as is. Cheese Ritz. Cheese Ritz. Love the color on this tin. I've never yeah. heard of Cheese Ritz before. Well, Is there a date what... on there? It's National Biscuit Company, made in USA. No, I don't see a date. There's no barcode. 12 and 3 quarters ounces of cheese Ritz crackers. I liked the color on the tin. Adorable. Um, I didn't know they made cheese Ritz either. Adorable for a riser in your display. Oh, this, is, your this is old. It says cheese crackers made by a skillful blending of enriched flour, shortening, aged whole milk cheddar cheese, sugar, salt, leavening, malt, spices, Emulsifier, lecithin, and U.S. certified color, whatever the heck that is. So it gives you the old, hey, it was full when we packed it. It might have settled during shipment, blah, 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 routine. But, yeah, the color is amazing. Uh, Looks like it has some tape on here that, yeah. that might come off. I don't know why they need to tape a lid on. That thing is on there like a 
you wouldn't want to know. So it is full of clothespins. We can dump those out if you don't want them. Bottom is a little discolored. Okay, the side. Good Lord. You have money in there. The inside looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, there's probably... 60, 50, 60 clothespins in here. Again, if you don't want them, we'll take them off. But these are the old school wooden clothespins. Well, they're not the super old ones. You can still get these. So. Can you? Yeah. But some people use them for crafting. Some people still use them to hang clothes out. So we can either keep those in or toss them. Um, Christy, I see you at five on the tin. So we can go ahead and start the countdown here. Hit it. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. And um, let's see. Christy, you, Christy, it's Alan. yours. Do you want the clothes pins or do you want us to take the clothes pins out? Because that's going to add some weight. Some weight, probably a couple. Also, if you've never bought pounds. from us, be sure to send us your information. Yes. No pins, please. All right. We're going to dump those out right now. You just dump them right in that. Um, no, right <laughs> below you there. There you go. Just dump in the them. garbage can? Yeah. You throw them out? Yeah, unless somebody wants the pins. Uh, Does we'll anybody the want the. Well, what are you going to use them for? Here. True lips together. No. Here. Nose clip. Thank you, Christy. Earrings? I'm going to clip that on something else. You're not going to like it. I might like it. All right. We have another antique piece here. And then one more item after this, I believe. Well, I'm not throwing perfectly good clothespins out. Why? You don't need them. You need them. This is a $12 start. It is an antique spool. This is the bottom color on it. Hi, Helen. And that's the top. This spool stands about nine and a half inches. It's got great color on it. All right, here, you hold the spool. I will oh, it's, it's got some weight, too. It's not a light spool. It's wood. Uh, it's put together with metal, though. I don't know if you can see the metal in the end and there's also additional metal what did i do with the tag it's inside of it inside of what the tin that for this oh i don't know all right keep going did you put it in the tin maybe probably did all right so wow sugar bridges figures out what she did yep, this does is. this probably weighs i'll be right back Wash three four pounds um it is very cool and starting bid is going to be twelve dollars on this spool so if anybody has any interest in this guy um i'm not sure what you would do with it but i'm sure sugar britches has some ideas of what to do with it it's in uh you know, it's in solid shape. It's not loose or in any position to fall apart from what I can tell. I don't know. There's a lot of paint or something on the one end of it. So, you keep buffering, Tammy? Sorry. Um, yes, so if there's no interest in the spool, we will move on. was a neat piece for vignettes, right? Well, it is. Well, let's do this big box here. Yep, this is the last item. Um, what about that stuff over there? We already did all of it. The cat crime? Yeah, you were upstairs when I did that. Oh, okay. All right. This box starts at $50, and I'd be happy to go through everything that's in here. What is it? They're vintage Noah's Ark. Um, most of them are vintage Noah's Ark uh, flocked animals. Yes, so and we'll so, pull them out one at a time here for you. So the first one oh, I'm going to show you is the hippo. 
amazing. I couldn't find these online. We picked these up in Springfield. Some of them are missing um, some of the flocking, but because of the age, that's to be expected. The lady had these all displayed. They looked really cool. Um, so you're going to get the hippo. And he is about eight inches long on this guy here. Again, $50 start, but you're going to get this whole box of these vintage um, flocked animals. Actually, let me grab that board. Oh, it's right there, hon. The pink board. That guy's had his leg glued back on. Yep. The giraffe, the mama giraffe here. And you can see the age on these. She has um, had her, her fur glued back on, on her leg, but um, she does have the remnants of a sticker. The leg's a little loose on that one. On there as well. She stands about six inches tall, and she's about seven inches long. Let me put the okay. hippo Next. up here. We can't put them all on. Yeah, we can. Keep going. Did yeah. this just get turned, or is it just me? There we go. We have this lovely deer with his rack. Really? Intact. What? She said hippos and, and giraffes are her favorite. Well, this whole box, that'll be right up your alley then. Um, let's see. The deer is about seven inches tall. What else do we have in here? And you can see there's the back side. So these do have wear. They were played with. We have a camel. He has some wear on this side of his neck. Maybe he has mange. Um, he is about eight inches long. Um, that's the big camel. This is the single hump. That's a double hump. Oh, yeah, yeah. So single hump camel. He appears to pretty much be intact. He is oh, seven inches tall. Can you bring him to the back so we can get in front of him? There you go. Not gonna be enough room for everybody here. Well, I'm gonna kind of set some of them down and then we'll load them up at yep. the end. This is a three inch tall raccoon. That one is not part of the set set him aside because that is a different set that um, we'll include but some of these are diff are a little bit different. Well, are you selling them or not? Yes, they're going to go but I want to show them different. This is the baby uh, giraffe here. He's seven inches tall. He's really cute. Um, and these are flocked. We have a penguin. Is that part of the set? Um, yes. <laughs> well, the ground keeps moving. Penguin is six inches tall. There's the penguin. We have a lovely zebra. He has, again, these all have a little wear on them. It's a little spot right here. Let's see. Zebra is about four and a half inches tall. This one has a sticker on his tummy. This says Hong Kong something. Hong Kong something. Well, it has been Hong Kong in a while, so. Ch Chang products or Chang something? Char like Charles. Pros something. I'm Charles sure. Pros, something like that. That's and the lioness or the lioness lion. Is, she's looking a little rough. Well, she's just missing her fur. Yep. None of these are broken per se. He's four inches tall. She would have had like rabbit fur around her neck, which you could actually replace. This is uh, one's the male, one's the female, right? Yeah, they're both the same size. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he was supposed to have a mane. Yeah, they were supposed to have a like a rabbit for mane. And we have this a billy goat. I'm not sure. Yep. 
Billy's goat. Mr. Billy Goat is six inches tall at the top of his antlers. I don't know if this is supposed to be a deer. Yeah, it looks like a deer. Uh, he is 11 inches tall. There's that guy. We that must a, be the male. We have a black bear. Yep. He's about three and a half inches tall. It's tallest point. This is a rhino. A rhinoceros. We don't know if anybody in here likes those or not. Uh, tallest point is about four inches here. He's got a little, just a little something on the bottom of his tail and one of his feet. Here's a little bear. Little bear is about three inches tall. A baby bear, huh? Here's a polar bear that is in definitely in rough shape. This is probably the roughest one in here. Three inches tall. But this side has some discoloration and it on has it. Has a hole in the one foot. Something got popped out of there or broken out of there. This would be a leopard, I guess. Uh, about four inches tall. Yep. Um, That's the baby zebra. Okay. There's the baby zebra. Baby zebra is about a little over four inches tall. We have kangaroo and junior. Kangaroo is about seven inches tall. A pretty good shape. Got some, uh, you know, wear and some felt or whatever that all is. Of them, all of them have some yeah. something. Uh, yeah, that one's cool. Alligator or crocodile? Probably crocodile, I would guess. I forget. It has a round nose face when it's a square one. Uh, here's a brown bear. About three inches tall. You want to do the raccoons now? Um, I think this is a beaver. Two and a half inches tall. For the beaver. Um, is there anything else that goes with this? Black, black leopard or black? Yeah, there's a black like panther. It looks panther, like maybe it's a, a baby. Two inches tall. That's the panther. Baby lions. Lion cubs. Lion cubs, there you go. About three inches tall. And is this the baby penguin? Three and a half inches tall. I, I don't think this one's with that set, but we're going to include these other items here with it. So we'll just put all of these up here. Okay. Here's a raccoon, another raccoon. We have a pair of now those go with the set. I a think a pair of leopards, baby leopards, baby leopards. I think those went with the set, but we're just here's another here. raccoon, um, a baby seal. It's like a baby kitty, a squirrel. Another baby seal, this be his sister or brother. And last but not least, our monkey. And these, some of them are marked Hong Kong as well. So these are old too. So you're gonna get this whole lot, everything we showed you, $50 start for all of the um, vintage so animals. Why don't you show, take the camera and show stuff on the table. Yep, I'm just going to add them back on here. Oh, no, don't just show them because there's not enough room. It's too heavy. You get the rhino. Just show this. I, I don't want to do that. Just move that out of the way. I'll show them as I'm putting them back in the box. The rhino.
Yes, they are very sweet. These came from Springfield. The lady had them all displayed really cool. And so, of course, I had to rescue them. My favorite, even though it's in really bad condition, is this giraffe. Um, the leg here just had, needed to be, they repaired it. It looks like the felt or the um, flea, what is it called? Flocking came off, so they re-glued it on. Um, the leg is loose, though. It looks like the leg has been trying call? to be reattached. I don't know. I really like this guy, though, even though. Um, you get that. So if you're watching back and you see these and you're interested, feel free to message me $50 start. And again, you're going to get all of the animals. Yeah, we'd, we'd like to sell it all as one set. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to piece it out. But you could piece it out if you wanted to. Yeah. And probably, I love the hippo. He's one of my favorites, this big old deer, the lions, leopard, camel, and then you can start putting those down in there too, and the polar bear. This camel has a sticker on the bottom of it. Yeah. What does that one say? I can't read it. Ooh. Hong Kong. Yeah, All some right. of them do have stickers on the bottom. And so if there's any interest, speak up now or we'll move on. Or is this it? This is the last thing that we have um, for today. All right, folks. Can't hardly beat this set of lovely animals. Yeah, get this whole box full. Yep. For one price. It's not real super heavy. It's pretty light. No. But All it, right. It will be a good size box if you buy it because we have to wrap each piece and make sure it doesn't uh, get damaged in shipping. Right. So that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. We're only like five minutes over today. Not, good, not too shabby. Good thing I was here to direct traffic. Right. All right. Um, thank you for joining us today. I appreciate it. I don't think we're having one tomorrow. No, it no. won't be any more until next week. So Yeah, so we'll, just two sales this week. We will invoice on Friday or Sunday. I'm sorry. Sunday, Sunday. the what's this today? The 15th? Yeah. 16, 17. We'll invoice on the 19th. So if you're watching this video back before the 19th, uh, let Sugar Bridges know. Or email what you're interested in. Let me know, Tammy. We'll go ahead and uh, invoice and pack it and send it on its way. Yep. All right. And if there's anything you saw that you are interested in, just message me. I can grab it off the table and add it um, to your pile as well. Not a problem. Or if there's anything you spotted in the back um, or in a previous sale, you can also let me know and I'll let you know if it's available. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us today. And you have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful rest of your week. Hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Thank you, Yvonne. <laughs> we will be back next week with more stuff. We have to figure out what the next sale is going to be about. I think it's going to be a toy sale. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. I had somebody reach out to me about doing like a um, toy sale with them. So I might wait and do sale with them but i'm just not sure yet when so but i have enough toys to do two sales so we can still do a toy sale um also i have a lot of books we can do another book sale and i have postcards we could do a postcard sale so i like to kind of keep it together because i don't want to put heavy items with breakables and media mail with stuff that's not media mail so that's so why i try to separate i'm gonna it. throw this out here just since we have a few people left this isn't anything that's for sale. It's something I'm trying to find a new home for. Very heavy. I have six bankers boxes full of model, like model railroad magazine, starting back in the 20s or 30s and all the way up to the 80s or whatever. And the gentleman that had them put them in groups of like six, and, and some of them are in excellent condition, condition. Some of them are showing their age. But there's six boxes full of these railroad magazines. It's all model railroad. 
This guy had a huge basement and a huge setup in his basement. I remember it as a kid. Um, so if anybody has any connections like, hey, I know somebody that might want that, please let Sugar Bitches know and we'll see if we can't find a new home for all of it. All right. No charge? No charge. You just have to just, pay for shipping if we're shipping well, it. Well, I doubt anybody's going to want to ship, you know, 200 pounds of magazines, but. Those can't go media mail. No. But I would like to just find somebody that says, yeah, I'll take them. And maybe they'll be passing through the Toledo area sometime this year or one of those things where, hey, I'll be in Springfield. We'll meet them there or whatever. We just need to find a new home for all these magazines. All right. Thank you so much. We appreciate you all stopping by. And it's great seeing everybody. Um, appreciate the comments. Send help. How's that go? I feel threatened. I'm afraid. All right. We will see you next week. Yep. So get on there. Check it out. Let her know if there's anything else you want to purchase. And uh, have a good one. I think we're going to go get lunch. <laughs> I was going to make Chef Boyardi pizza. Oh, God. I'm going to go to Rudy's Hot Dog. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.